Hi, today we're going to see how to create a glass sphere effect in GIMP. I will put the link of this image in the description box. So first we need to select the ellipse selection tool. So now make sure to check the expand from center and to check the fixed. And now I'm just going to create a circle here. So here it is. And now press enter from the selection. And now I'm going to create a new transparent layer. So click on this icon, fill it with transparency and then press OK. And now I'm going to fill this selection on this new layer with black. So here. So here it is. And now I'm going to select none to remove the selection. And now I'm going to duplicate the background layer. So duplicate it, reduce the opacity, and then select the scale tool. Left click on this background here where we reduce the opacity. Left click. And now here, as you can see, chain icon here is linked. So keep shift key down here to scale it from one handle. Now I want to make it to the same size here as the black circle here. So now I'm going to move the right handle and then the left handle. So here like this. And now I'm going to bring down the top one. And here bring up the bottom one. So here it is. So here it is, press enter. And now let's bring back the opacity of our layer to 100%. So here's the layer on the, on the same size here as the circle. So now select the circle layer, right click on it, alpha to selection to make selection 14 inside this layer. So here it is the black circle. So now I'm going to delete this black layer here, the black circle since we don't need it anymore. So click on the X icon. And now we are on the square layer here. We just use the scale tool on. So right click on it, add layer mask. Here, as you can see, selection is active. So check the selection layer mask, the selection, then add. So here it is. And now right click, apply layer mask. And now here, while the selection is active, go to filters, distort, and then spherize. So here, and now I'm just going to increase the spherize here, the angle of view to the maximum. So let's check the preview. So here it is, and now press OK. Now here, selection is still active here, so now I'm going to invert it so I can select everything except what's inside here. So go to Select, Invert. So now I want to add some highlights here, some highlights and shadows under. So now we inverted the selection, go to Filters, Light and Shadow, and then Drop Shadow Legacy. So I'm going to move the window here, drop shadow window here. So now I want to add highlights over here. So I'm going to, for the offset X, I'm going to type minus 16. For the offset Y, 16. For the blur radius, I'm going to type 30. For the color, I'm going to change it to white. Press OK. Allow resizing, uncheck it. And here for the opacity, I'm going to go with 80 and then press OK. So here it is. So this is the layer the drop shadow created. So now I'm going to remove the selection. So go to select, none. And now right click on the drop shadow layer, layer to image size. Now I want to remove some parts here. Select the eraser tool, size. So here are settings I'm using. And now make sure on the drop shadow layer. So now I'm just going to remove some parts here a little bit. So here, I think it's okay here. So here it is. And now in order to darken this bottom part here, I'm going to use this highlight here, this drop shadow layer to so duplicate it. And now select the flip tool. I'm going to invert it horizontally. So here, change the direction to horizontal, left click. And then here, I'm going to change it to vertical. So here it is. And now select the move tool. And now press plus can your keyboard to zoom in. I'm just going to move this one here like this. So here it is to make sphere here. And now I'm just going to invert the colors. So go to colors, invert. So here it is. And still, for example, increase the opacity. So here I think it's too much. So here it's okay here. So now press minus key on your keyboard to zoom out. And now I'm going to add slight blur here on this layer here on this MJ with these spheres effect. So even if it is already blurred, so go to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur. 
So here, press OK. And now press minus Q on our keyboard to zoom out. And I'm going to merge down these three layers here. So here it is, the highlight shadow in the sphere. So here it is. Now I'm going to add shadow here under the sphere here. So select, click on this icon here to create a new layer. Fill it to transparency and then press OK. Select the paintbrush tool. So I'm going to increase a little bit here. Yes, increase the size. Change the foreground color to black. And then here, left click. So I'm going to left click three times. So here it is, select the scale tool. Left click on this shadow here we used here, we created now. So here, as you can see, chain icon here is linked. So if you keep shift key down, and then left click from one handle, you will be able to scale it from one side. So here it is, and I'm just going to move it right under our sphere. So here, press enter, make it look like as if it is floating. So now let's move it here. You can still, for example, duplicate it to increase the effect, and then reduce a little bit the opacity. For example, even though we do this, let's merge down these two shadows here and then go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And now I'm going to increase a little bit the blur here. So here, press OK. So here you can either leave the background like this or just blur it a little bit. So go to filters again and then just click on ratio Gaussian blur. So here. So here like this and now press OK. And then let's merge down everything. So here it is. Right click, layer to image size. So here it is. That's how you can create a glass sphere effect in GIMP. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and uh, till next time.